Shadow King, Marvel's true Omega telepath, the most terrifying mental parasite explored. The Shadow King is a supervillain and an antagonist in the Marvel comics affiliated with storylines revolving around the X-Men. He is powerful enough to oppose the leader of the X-Men, Professor X. He is also associated with the backstory of the weather-controlling mutant Storm, as the two had a connection during her time as an orphan. He originally appears as Amal Farouk, a human mutant in Egypt who carries out his evil plans using his wide array of psychical abilities. He possessed and manipulated people for his personal benefit and has been established as the modern incarnation of an evil entity from a time before the dawn of humanity. He exists in the astral realm and appears in the material world after he takes possession of a human body. He is greedy and lacks self-control, which makes his long-term hosts morbidly obese. This hyper-evil character was created by the legends Chris Claremont and John Byrne. He made his debut in 1979 in Uncanny X-Men number 117. Before diving into the content, we would like to make a very small request to our viewers. Please subscribe to Marvelous Videos, like and comment on our videos, and press the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a video. We would be grateful to you, and we hope to bring you the best nerdy content. And with that, let's get right into this video. Omega Level Mutant Shadow King Origin The Shadow King has had several retcons throughout his storylines, making his exact origin arbitrary, and there's information that contradicts each other. In some places he is an ancient evil god, and in others he is a human mutant from Egypt named Amal Farouk. In the New Mutants number 14, he is given a more solid origin story as Amal Farouk, the son of a merchant trader in 16th century Egypt. He possessed telepathic powers, which he used to protect the market from thieves, but after the plague took over, he was orphaned. As his father passed away, he considered himself to be responsible for it and eventually succumbed to the darkness. However, the most popular origin story is a bit different, with Amal Farouk being the primary human manifestation of the Shadow King, an ancient multiversal entity living in the astral realm. His historic confrontation with Professor Xavier took place while he was Amal Farouk, which ultimately inspired the Professor to form the X-Men. Going by his more recent appearances, the Shadow King is believed to be the essence of pure psionic energy. He exists within the astral plane, but possesses the bodies of the humans in the living world. In the past, he was a disembodied mutant who jumped from host to host like a parasite after the original body died. In the Prime Marvel Universe, the Shadow King manifests from the darker side of a human being's consciousness. It transcends all universes. When Amal Farouk's power had developed, he would control the people around him and feed on the darkness embedded within their souls. He would merge Shadow King with the darkness as he needed to go from one host to another. This is how it had been since the dawn of humanity, with the Shadow King terrorizing people for his existence in the living world. In the 1930s, Amal Farouk worked under two of Hitler's special agents. They were in on a plan to dethrone King Edward of England to replace him with a fascist king or ruler who allied himself with the wishes of Hitler. They intended to destabilize Britain politically so that they would need to ally with Germany for the Second World War, or at least stay neutral instead of opposing them. During this time, Amal Farouk learnt about Charles Xavier and the X-Men. He also learnt of the identities of his other enemies and most of the future history during this time. Approximately 30 years later, the Shadow King duplicated Farouk's body and went on to become a crime lord in Egypt with Cairo Thieves' Quarter under his control. He had his iconic confrontation with Charles Xavier during this time. Xavier was in Cairo and was walking by a restaurant after meeting up with a young Storm. Suddenly a powerful psychic attack hit him. Xavier realized that the perpetrator was inside the restaurant and confronted Amal Farouk. The two of them shifted this confrontation to the astral plane and indulged in a fierce battle where Xavier emerged victorious. In the end, Farouk's body was slumped over in his chair and it looked like it was over for him. But his evil mind went on to exist on the astral plane and he called himself the Shadow King. This is when it was hinted that Amal Farouk was nothing but a body the Shadow King had taken over. Time went by and it was time for the Shadow King to return for his revenge on Xavier. He held the grudge for being defeated and went on to take over Karma, a new mutant who was vulnerable to him due to her own psionic abilities such as possession. The Shadow King lived as Karma for months, causing her to gain weight due to his eating habits, which is what had happened with the Shadow King's physical body as Amal Farouk as well. The other new mutants discovered that Karma was possessed and they fought to save her. 
Once again, the Shadow King experienced defeat as he was forced out of her body. He has chased Storm and Cairo, taken possession of the body of an FBI agent named Jacob Rise, making him his permanent host while he was still hunting for Storm. He turned Dr. Lian Shen into his very own slave so that he could use her and her hounds to find Storm, but Storm managed to escape from the hunt with the help from Gambit. He started to manipulate Moira McTaggart as well, as well as the people living in the Muir Island facility. Under his influence, the people turned aggressive and he used it as an opportunity to get to Val Cooper to execute Mystique. For a while, he believed that Mystique was truly dead. The outside world noticed these activities eventually and the X-Men got trapped on Muir because of the Shadow King's thralls. Xavier teamed up with the X-Factor and S.H.I.E.L.D. to attack the Shadow King. He was oblivious to his pawn Val Cooper being Mystique in disguise who ended up killing the Shadow King's body so he jumped to the body of Xavier's son Legion. A battle ensued and the backlash of a psychic attack re-injured Professor X's legs and spine but it helped defeat the Shadow King. Later, the Shadow King tricked one of the X-Men, Psylocke, into creating a massive wave of energy that tampered with the psionic powers from all over the war. This initiated the Psy War and he stretched himself to link with all the minds in the living world. However, Psylocke, in her new shadow astral form, assaulted his personal psionic nexus and defeated him, trapping him in her own mind. He was freed after Psylocke perished in combat and attacked the X-Men, but he was defeated once again. You'd think he'd stop trying after taking the L so many times, but bad guys are adamant. He later possessed an alternate reality Professor X in Britain and turned the X-Men from that world into his hounds. He brought back the Shadow X-Men but got defeated by new Excalibur. He was ultimately imprisoned from which he obviously wished to escape. His attack on the prison transport failed so he attacked Sage the pilot which ended up destroying Xavier's psyche after she reflected his mental assault. He took control of a guard and made him say the word Psylocke, resurrecting her. However, he could not control her following the resurrection so he got his revenge on her by making her watch New Excalibur kill her brother. Psylocke fought back by making the Shadow King's host body die from a stroke and disappeared before he could attack her. In the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, which is also an antagonistic group which he was a part of, the Shadow King reappears in his old Farouk form and approaches Harper Simmons, a journalist. He gives her footage of the X-Force killing people so that she would bust them and make the world aware of their existence. The Shadow King was an agent of Apocalypse. In Earth-295, one of the Shadow King's aspects happened to be an agent of Apocalypse. He manifested inside the sanctum of the Apocalypse as a cloudy face and was the very first who detected the presence of Nate Grey. This prompted the Apocalypse to send forth his assassins to get rid of Grey. He also physically tortured Karma to make her reveal where Magneto's X-Men were. Remember, this is all happening in the alternate universe of Earth-295. He tried to read Bishop's mind, but his memory of Earth-616, which is the original reality, expelled the Shadow King from his psyche. He then hid in the mind of Dead Man Wade and followed the Nightcrawler into the Sanctuary of Avalon. He gained control over the minds of the mutant and human refugees there and caused major carnage. Nightcrawler managed to enter the astral plane physically and destroyed the Shadow King's mind. In the end, the X-Men were able to restore Earth-616 and repair the time stream. Naturally, the Shadow King survived and possessed the body of another host. He became the chief agent of Weapon X after the latter betrayed the X-Men to become the Apocalypse's heir. He also managed to gain his psychical body of Aman Farouk once again. What makes Shadow King so dangerous? Despite being defeated so many times by the X-Men, the Shadow King always manages to come back, mainly because he is only defeated and never killed. To be fair, killing him is a different ballpark as he is a multi-universal ethereal entity who exists in the astral plane. This allows him to extend himself to any reality. Think of it as the tributaries of a river or like the roots and tendrils of a larger tree. When he enters a new reality, he takes over a living body to use it as his host as he exists in the material world. As an entity of his caliber, he boasts several superpowers that allow him to take on the X-Men. Telepathy The Shadow King is a master telepath. 
In fact, his skill has helped him acquire the title of a true Omega telepath, often considered to be the most powerful telepath on Earth, barring Charles Xavier. He has been able to take over the minds of powerful foes such as the Black Panther and gentle or other telepaths of a high order such as Psylocke. Astral Form His astral form is the reason why he does not die after losing battles. He can only incur certain damage if the attack is magical or physical. His host body can obviously be damaged physically and this can disperse his astral essence, but he can regain his astral form again and again repeatedly. Anchor Host He could possess the bodies of living beings from different realities from his astral plane. He can influence and manipulate people using telepathy. When he possesses a body, it can repair the physical damage of the host. This psychological parasite is an evil entity who poses a massive threat to the world. True to his nature, he has committed several dangerous offenses. Turned Orphans into Criminals During Storm's time as an orphan, she was allied to a gang working under Farouk and the members worked as pickpockets who preyed on tourists. One such tourist Storm had preyed on was Charles Xavier when the latter was in Cairo. Anyway, her connection to the Shadow King or Farouk from an early age of her life created an everlasting enmity between the two. Turned Rogue into the Shadow Queen the Shadow King once tried to abduct Gateway from the Dreamtime, causing Storm's team to get involved in a conflict with Reavers, a group of cyborg mercenaries. During this time, Shadow King tried to corrupt Rogue by possessing her as he wanted access to the hero she had connected with via her power absorption. He tried turning her into the Shadow Queen as he assumed she would be an easy target, but she did not succumb. Worked with the Nazis in World War II his run working under the men of Hitler in the 1930s and attempts to destabilize England speak volumes over how twisted his mind and action can be. He tried to do so by using a demonic spell which sent Rachel Summers and Kitty Pryde to the past. Tried to corrupt Psylocke in the Psy War, an African tribe used to worship Storm as a weather goddess. The Shadow King took advantage of that and disguised himself as an ancient god all because he wanted to lure the X-Men into a trap during the Psy War. He wanted Psylocke to trigger a radical psychic event and restrict the minds of the other psionics to the astral plane. He also tried to corrupt Psylocke, but ultimately failed. Turn the civilians of London into psionic zombies After he tried to break free from the astral plane, the astonishing X-Men formed to defeat him. Psylocke brought the team to the astral realm when the Shadow King spread a psychic infection throughout London. People turned into zombie-like creatures who passed on the infection with a simple touch. Creative and terrifying versions of Shadow King across various forms of media explored. As a telepath of the highest order and an entity who could rival the X-Men all by himself, the Shadow King has appeared in several forms of media from the animated series to video games. The character appears in the popular X-Men the Animated Series and Wolverine and the X-Men. The television series Legion also features this character as its main antagonist. He is also present in the video game X-Men Legends. His multiversal astral nature and ability to connect with beings all across the multiverse makes him an extremely diverse villain who can transcend into any storyline. This combined with his evil and unreal telepathic powers makes him the most terrifying mutant villain. What did you think of the Shadow King? Did you enjoy this video? If yes, then don't forget to like and comment on this video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice one.